everyone, this is uh, Davo HQ here, just doing a short video on how to convert my original Belmont slash Kingswood dash, which had a fuel gauge here and nothing else except this blank plate and the speedo. I've now got a GDS dash with the uh, extra gauges of the Taco oil, fuel, temperature and battery all wired in properly in the back here you can see that there's the uh, oil and fuel this is the taco and this is the temperature and ammeter now and to do this you'll need wiring diagrams factory workshop manual um, it covers the Belmont Kingswood and Monaro which has the original gauges and then the GDS with the GDS gauges which is probably about the only modification to the, the circuits and so that do this this was the original fuel gauge connector which sat in here or in this area all I had to do was le I left that tan wire in there the pink wire was up here I moved that lug to here and this was a black negative wire which I've just cut and joined the blue oil pressure uh, sender unit wire which used to go into the bottom of the old fuel gauge as you can see there's a blue wire it was just going to the warning light i just cut that wire and joined it into this black wire here just to make it easier because that those original lugs are hard to get and i didn't want to have to try and bodgy that up so i've just joined it straight to that black wire now the black wire that was coming out of there and into that which I cut was just hanging here and I could then use that to join into the back of the taco with a uh, new lug on it. The brown wire I had to run a complete new one. Um, you've got to strip back all the loom tape back to this point. I then ran a new wire from here through your loom and back down to the body harness connector and that is here and that is going to be connected into terminal JZ if you look on the back of this body harness connector they have letters it says J and there's Z, so that means I've got to put that wire into this position. You can see now that there's no uh, spade connector in it. Uh, so I've got to basically cut one out of an old switch, out of an old connector, and join it to that and place that connector in there. So that's the taco. <coughs> the next wire I uh, Wiring modification is the temperature gauge and ammeter. Which basically, the green wire used to be across the loom and connected in under here into this position for a warning light. So I just cut that wire, pulled it back, and put a connector on it, a lug on it, and plugged it into here. This pink wire, I had to run a new pink wire back through the loom. And I connected it into here. There was a spare pink wire here after I cut these ones off. That you can see the pink wire was cut there. And there's a, another, a double pink wire that was cut there. One of those tails came from this warning light over to here. So I've just cut that and rejoined and soldered it on to the new pink wire which I ran to here.
and that took care of that. The only major difference, which was a little confusing at first, was the ammeter for it to work uh, properly. We've got to use 4mm cable for this because it's coming directly off the battery. And basically, you have a wire here. should say if I can get it in focus G Z is that Y there that big red one that basically comes from your starter motor of the solenoid I'll show you that in the wiring diagram in a minute so from that point there the wire goes up and into your ignition, oh not ignition, your light switch, there's a, a red wire over the back there, there should be two. No, instead of going to there, I actually cut that wire from GZ about this position here, I cut it and I didn't have any red wire so I had some 4mm brown wire. I've just connected that straight to here, which is your battery side on the gauge. It's marked BAT. So then I was left with a, a wire coming from the ignition switch, which was cut. So I've joined that wire to the generator side of the gauge. Now you also have to run a new wire from the back of your fuse panel where they, from this terminal here you can see the two big 4mm red wires coming in there's a spot for a spade connector run a 4mm cable through your loom to the fuse panel and here it is here that has got to be in, connected to a lug and put into JW on the back of your fuse panel now this is where the wiring diagrams come into play you'll see here on the original Belmont wiring GZ is the thick 4mm cable which I said I it comes into the light switch instead GZ on the GDS dash comes from the body connector into the battery side of the ammeter So I, like I said, I cut GZ instead of going to the back of the light switch. I cut it about here and put it directly into the battery side of the ammeter, which is this brown wire I've used here. I've just cut it and put it, the original red wire I've cut about here and put it into the battery side. Now, Like I've cut that wire, put it into the battery side, so there's a, a tail coming off there which is cut and just sitting there. Now that tail gets extended as it goes along here. And into the ammeter, so the G side, which is the gen side. So I've cut it, there's a tail just hanging out here, and I've just joined that straight into Gen. I hope that makes sense. And that should get the uh, ammeter working properly. And when I've finished, I've just taped everything back up with loom tape. And 
it all looks fairly neat. To do this, there's a few basic tools. You need some pliers to crimp any lugs on, a lighter for the heat shrink, some loom tape which you can get off eBay. And it's just a wire that I've joined earlier. I'll just demonstrate how I've joined those wires. And this is an example of a lug where the spade connector is in there and how to get those out. So I'll show you first how to get the lug out. They're basically locked in with a uh, metal tab that sticks off the lug. You need to get some sort of flat blade and push into the top of the plastic lug there and you should be able to pull it out if you get the right spot. You gotta push that, oh, not break it, but push that tab down and you'll get it out. I'll show you the metal tab if you can see it. I'll stick it up a little bit. Okay, so that's the little metal tab that sticks up, which locks it in position. Basically, once it's pushed in, it clicks in and it's locked in. I'm only showing you this because on the first modification of the fuel gauge and oil pressure gauge, um, I'd like to use the original connector. So I just had to swap, like I said at the start, swap that pink wire with that black wire. They were in the wrong positions. Now to join a wire, basically strip off the ends. Put them across like that and twist in opposite directions. You can see you've got to twist that around itself so that it's in line. And the heat shrink. Once you've soldered that join, you just put soldering under iron under there and add some solder and that will solder. Once that's done and cooled down, use a bit of heat shrink, slide it across, like so, use a lighter, and it just melts, shrinks the heat shrink to form a tight fit over the join. And I don't know if I can, you can see any of the ones I did join. No. I've taped them all up now. Oh, there's one there. I've used just to repair a wire that was a bit damaged. Um, that's basically it for the uh, wiring loom on the car side. There is another section, which is the engine compartment wiring. And so we've added this wire JW from the AMI. That's got to be a 4 mil cable, new one, run to the alternator. I'll do a video later on that. And also, a new cable, JZ, has to come out here and go to the ignition coil for the TACO. Uh, don't need to modify the oil pressure wiring out here because that blue wire goes directly to your oil pressure switch or sender. And don't need to modify the temperature wiring because it goes the green wire hy goes out here 
to your water temperature switch or sender so that wiring stays the same and that's basically it so i hope this video has helped some people it took me quite a few hours to complete the dash i think this is my first time um, but it, it all looks pretty good Now to do this, you probably need to take this unit out of the car. It's a lot easier to get to all the wiring. Um, I'm only doing this because I've completely stripped my car. And um, this can all go back into the car as one unit. So that's it. If you have any questions, just go to my YouTube channel and leave it in the comments. Um, I hope this has helped people. Thank you.